Right, so I know I said last time that uh, it's going to be all fun stuff from here on out. Well, that's not entirely true. Um, I've still got a lot of uh, formalities to take care of. For example, I just set up a bank account over there with the post bank. Um, it's one of many things that I have to do. So now I'm currently on my way back over to this mall where I've spent a lot of time at these past couple days uh, to try and get a German SIM card so I can have a German phone number. Basically, there's a certain order that all uh, bureaucratic processes have to be completed in, or at least the processes that I'm trying to finish. So, uh, yeah, we're about halfway through that list right now. My goal is that by the end of the vlog, I'll have gotten through them all. Well, SIM card has successfully been acquired. Kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, more shopping time real quick. Well, my shopping experience got cut a bit short because I didn't have any uh, money to rent a cart. Basically, if you've ever been to an Aldi's in America, you know that they uh, you have to pay a quarter to unlock your cart from the other carts. And uh, once that happens, you, know, you get your car, you can do your shopping, and then you get your quarterback once you return your cart. Well, that's how all German grocery stores are. But I did manage to get some pasta salad and uh, uh, one thing of beer for me to try, so that's nice. Also, that reminds me, a uh, new German word, Ausweis. Uh, means passport. A lot of people will ask for that in Germany, so uh, it's a good word to learn. Also, also, the uh, lady at Vodafone was very impressed with my German, especially considering I've only been here for a week, so that was really uh, nice and encouraging to hear, especially since that's one of the things I'm doubting myself most on, so you know, it's always uh, nice to hear some words of encouragement. Also, 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 I saw a guy wearing a, a UNC lanyard while in the mall, which is not really important, but it's kind of, it was kind of cool to see. Kind of wonder if he was American. I think I need to get a lanyard. It would definitely make fishing my keys out of my pocket easier every time I have to do it. Plus, I've been told I should uh, get a, a bottle opener for my keychain, so uh, yeah, that would also make things easy. Aside from that one time I went and visited downtown Stuttgart, I do believe that my trips in defying it huh, have been my favorite part of the trip so far. I mean, just huh, walking around the city and, you know, going shopping is pretty cool. And as nerve-wracking as it is, it's also kind of cool to see, you know, how much German you can understand, uh, how much German you've learned, and, you know... It's just kind of kind of cool getting used to the to the newness of everything. It's a pretty cool experience. Uh, I'll I'll be very honest. All right, it's been a week and a half, and I've finally heard back from Postbank today. They sent me a letter in the mail, but unfortunately, this is not my account information. Basically, uh, they were sending me a letter saying that they have not yet received a copy of my residency registration. Uh, you know, the thing that I went and uh, I got in the last vlog uh, and then proceeded to take with me when I went to set up my Postbank account. Uh, yeah, so I guess they didn't get that and are now saying I have to turn that in. <sighs> so now I'm debating whether or not I should actually just go in tomorrow and give them a copy of my residency registration and then potentially wait another week and a half to hear back from them, or if I should just set up with another bank because I, it's getting kind of getting kind of late in the, the month. Classes are filling up pretty quickly. If I don't get my uh, enrollment figured out soon, then this is, this is going to get kind of dicey. So... Uh, I need to figure out something to do, and very quickly. However, because I can't really do anything about that right now, and I am very eager to record footage for this next vlog, uh, let's go ahead and get it on with this week's food review. So today I'm going to be making some spetzel, which is a, a type of German egg pasta. 
uh, commonly associated with Schwabia, which is a uh, historical region in Baden-Württemberg, where I am uh, currently living. And uh, basically, I found this packet in the store the other day. It's a cheese spetzel with uh, roasted onions. Looked pretty good and pretty easy to make, so I figured I might as well uh, give it a shot. All I really got to do is uh, heat half a liter of water and then uh, add this and then uh, let it cook for 12 minutes. So that'll be nice and easy. Just, just my type of cooking. All right, I somehow still think I messed it up because it says to cook for 12 minutes on medium heat, but it's still like super watery over here and not really, not really saucy. So, uh, all right, I said nice and easy, and now I'm, now I'm eating my words. All right, well, after boiling away most of the excess water, I actually got it to a point where I'm, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. This actually looks pretty good. So uh, all that's left is to get a German beer out of the fridge and, uh, and go enjoy this. All right, after picking out a very Schwabian dish and a not very Schwabian beer, uh, I'm I'm ready to try this. So let's uh, go ahead. Ooh, yeah, that's nice and that's nice and cheesy. I like I like the look of that. All right, a little more more detailed shot. There we go. So uh, bone app the teeth. Oh yeah, that's mm, that's that's pretty good. Very cheesy. I love it. I love the, the texture, the egg noodles. Just good flavor, good flavor. And there's a little bit of that onion flavor just to give, give it some, a little bit of pizzazz. So pretty good. Feels like it should be like a side dish to something, but overall, this is a solid, a solid little meal. Beer's pretty solid as well. So uh, while I was cooking, you might have noticed on the package there was something called a, a Nutra score. I've been seeing that on quite a bit of uh, German foods uh, recently, and uh, so I figured I'd, I'd look into it a little bit, and apparently it's a, a fairly new system that they've implemented for uh, kind of simplifying uh, to consumers what food is, is healthy or generally what, what health, I guess, nutrition, the nutrition contents of uh, whatever food you may be buying. It's not a compulsory thing for German companies to do, but uh, it is something that a lot of companies do. So I've been seeing it on a lot of uh, a lot of food boxes and stuff like that. I found it very interesting that uh, somehow Nesquik cereal gets an A, and this is somehow a B. Like I, I don't so I don't really know exactly how it works. Apparently, it's a bit controversial because Italian people are afraid that their like food is gonna not get eaten now or something like that because of this system. I don't know. It's a bit controversial, but not everyone has to do it. Um, at least as of right now, I don't think it. I don't even think it's six months old yet at this point. So, but it's it's kind of cool. It's it's interesting. I thought just an interesting little quirk I've, I've noticed. All right, well, it's the next day, and uh, that was a bit unfortunate. I tried to give them my uh, my residency permit, or not residency permit, my residency registration that I got last time. But uh, there's a bit of a complication. German bureaucracy does not make a whole lot of sense, basically. Uh, in addition to my uh, residency registration, they also need my residency permit to open a bank account. But I also need a bank account in order to get my residency permit. So there's this sort of circle that's going on uh, where I have to sort of somehow break into the circle uh, and uh, get all my, my stuff done. So they also said it's going to be another week probably before I hear back from them. Which is very unfortunate because now I have to wait even longer and this is, it's just, it's getting very unfortunate. Uh, this sucks. But it's Saturday, I don't really have anything to do so I'm just gonna walk around Feyingen for a little bit and see what there is that I haven't seen yet. Found this very cool like weekend market uh, outside of the mall that I usually shop at, um, but it's very cool looking. They've got like 
uh, bakery items and vegetables and flowers and gourmet cheese and all sorts of cool stuff. They've even got uh, an egg van right here, so very cool. All right, managed to get a little bit more shopping done. I'm kind of just, every time I go out into find and I, I try to do a little bit of shopping, so it's, uh, it's kind of fun. So, yeah. yeah, pretty slow day other than that. And Mom sent me another box of rice. That is what I call a huge win. And it's actually different stuff uh, this time, too. I didn't realize that. I mean, we've got the same newspaper and cards and uh, the same curries as last time, which were really good, by the way. Uh, but we also got these, like these five-minute, uh, I don't know, just like, I guess kind of like the instant ramens that you see, or cup of noodles where you, like, add water and then stick it in the microwave for a few minutes, and then you got you got yourself a little... A cup of rice. So, uh, very cool. Thank you very much, Mom. So my attempt at creating a second bank account has been slightly successful, I think. Uh, they said it's going to be another week before I hear back, so that's not great. But, I just so happened to find myself at a Königstrasse which is kind of the main street in Stuttgart, and not just anywhere on Königstrasse, but at Schlossplatz. So that's the castle that I've uh, been hearing about right here. And uh, yeah, this is just very, very cool. Unfortunately, I do not have time to explore it today because I've got class in uh, about an hour, but still a very cool sight nonetheless very cool i'd also like to tell about some uh some interesting developments that have happened over the weekend uh because i'm getting tired of recording you know unfortunate bureaucratic incidents i have decided to take a little trip this weekend i found an opportunity to uh to go to amsterdam so that is where I'll be going this weekend, and that is what my next vlog will be on. Uh, instead of just, you know, make this one last forever and not come out for a few weeks, I'll record a trip to Amsterdam. That'll be my next vlog. So the title of this series is A Bit of a Lie. But yeah, that is, uh, I think, going to do it for this vlog. I'm going to cut it short uh, here so that I... Uh, well, just don't make it too long, and then I have plenty of time to record stuff for, for Amsterdam. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and until next time, uh, until next time.